Fortune in the fame, and I just want the fortune in you have your last name. See, if loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right. If loving you was wrong, they can lock me up for life. I said, if loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right. If loving you was wrong, they can lock me up for life. Bit the night. Okay. My name Q. I'm 35. I'm from Chicago. I'm ready to find my person because I'm, you know, being lonely a little boring. So I'm ready to go ahead and settle down. With one or two, maybe three girls. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. I am Tiffany Knight. I am originally from San Diego, California. Woo woo. And um, originally I came here because I really want to find the person that I really not only see myself falling in love with, but also seeing spending the rest of my life with. I feel like I'm a good wife because not only do I love hard, but I also like taking care of that person. You know, it's like me taking care of my family. You know, ever since I was 16 years old, I've always managed to take care of my grandmother because not only was she um, a diabetic, but she also fell down a hill and broke her ankle in five places. And my mother, you know, she has breast cancer. My uncle, he had, he had open heart surgery. And my father, my biological father, he passed away due to suicide. I always feel like taking care of family is also taking care of my person. I want to make sure that I'm not only going to be there for you, but I'm going to be there for you in life and in death. Yo, this is crazy. I am Sabion. I am 28, and I'm ready for my person. I'm getting old, not going to lie. 28 is kind of old. Um, I want children. I want family. I'm ready to get it done and over with. Let's, let's, let's get it on the roll. Oh, wow. This is nice. Hello? Honey, I'm home. Hi, my name is May. I'm 34 years old. I'm from ATL, and I'm ready to find my person because I'm ready for love. So I'm known for long nails and colorful hair at my job. So, yeah. I talk with my nails sometimes because, you know, I feel like this... It gets my point across. You feel me? Like, I feel like I was doing that to someone downstairs. I think her name is King. Yeah, I was, I was doing this to her to get my point across. Hello? Your wife is here. So my name is Jada. I am 24. We'll be 25 in April. Save the date. Um, so I am from Decatur, Georgia. Decatur where it's greater, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm ready to find my person because I'm tired of playing games. I'm just, I'm ready for somebody to be for real and love me for who I am. And you know, who's ready for a good woman? Cause I'm amazing. So who is ready for a wife? I'm a wifey out here. Stop playing with me. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Look at this shit. Goddamn dog. What's up? All right. My name is Jay. Jay Boo. I'm 34 years old. Uh, and I'm from Houston, Texas. And I'm here to find my person because I think it's time for me to be with somebody. Uh, I've been single for like going on four years now. And so I think it's time for me to uh, get back out there and see who can be my person. My judgment when I was younger, absolutely not. Because I felt like I was pressured into being in relationships that I didn't necessarily want to be in. 
you know, I was the stud and trying to give the fam what she wanted, and then it just, it just ended up bad. Oh, this is cute. Anybody here? So my name is Mignon. I'm from Illinois. I've been here for 20 years, and I am 31, um, and I'm here to find my person. Oh, shit. Shit. Let's see what I can get into. All right. Shit, my name is Sandra, a.k.a. Cookie. Uh, I'm from North Carolina. I'm from, originally from Philly, though. And uh, I'm 26, you know what I'm saying? Birthday January 3rd, Capricorn shit, you know. You know how that go. But uh, I'm ready to find my person because, like, because I need a little yeah, yeah to spend some time with, you know? Spend some money with, have a good time traveling and shit like that. Yo, knack knack, anybody home? I brought the party. Let's get it. Yo, I'm Scott Two Wise, man. I'm 34, born and raised right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Excited to find my person, man. Very excited. I'm ready to find my person because my life is taking off phenomenally. I'm finally in tune with where I'm supposed to be in life. And I'm ready to share this journey with someone. I'm ready to magnify what I have going on with the energies of someone else who's on the same page. Oh, shit. OK. Now, this I can do. Now, where's daddy? So, bitches, my name is Dre LaRue. I'm the house diva, period. OK, I'm 32. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and I've been here in Georgia for like two months. I am so ready to find my person, y'all. I feel like I've done everything right, you know. Got to know people, they mamas, waited on, you know, took lunches, all of that. Played 21 questions. I feel like I've literally played the game right. I don't know, I get judged, y'all. I get like stereotyped a lot, and I don't care about looks because if I do like this, you're going to see everything I've been through under all this makeup. So hopefully the person for me is in this house. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what we got going on here. All right, Shardy, where you at, though? All right, I'm Ravish. What's happening? I'm from uh, Collar Park, Georgia, the real ATL. Don't listen to Um Did 10 years in the Army, came back here. I do some radio shit. I do some hosting stuff. I do some production stuff. So jack all trades for show. And you know, I'm here to find my person cause I'm ready to be committed. I'm ready to stop playing around and having three, four, five females. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to really take somebody serious. So yeah, that's why I'm here. Okay now. Yo, what's up? Lover boy in the house! Hey, my name is Jonay. I'm 37 from Miami, Florida. Moved to Atlanta about six years ago. I'm ready to find my person because, I don't know, I just came out of a rough marriage. So I just want to find somebody that's going to kind of like bring it down and let me find love again because I don't believe in it no more. That's it. Yo, where the cuties with the booties at? What's up? My name is Marcia. I'm 31 from Brooklyn, New York. I'm ready to find my person. I think it's time. I got a lot to love to give. I'm here, bitches. Hey, y'all. My name is Destiny. I'm 23, and I'm from Atlanta, and I'm ready to find my person. I'm ready to find my person because life's getting a little boring, and it's just time to, you know, See what life has out there for me. I've been single for like two years now. So, you know, it's time to find love. Hey, y'all. Hi, I'm Piggy J. Banks, Jalissa Wills. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm 30 years old. Um, I'm ready to find my person because... Um, I'm ready to find my person because... Because... Um, I've been on a journey for a very long time, and throughout this little journey, I want to get to know everybody, pick up some things that I can learn from everybody, and pretty much my person that I'm trying to find is me. Hey, y'all. <laughs>
My name is Michelle. I'm 28. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, but I've lived in Chicago for the last seven years and I'm here to find my person. I'm ready to find my person because I need somebody to kind of match my my fly. I need somebody that, I need a companion. I want somebody to travel with. I want somebody to make money with and to vibe with. I can't just always accomplish everything by myself. I need a partner. Hey, God. Now who granny help this is? Ooh, wee. You can fit me in like three of them here. Ooh. Me right here, man. I think we parking right here. What we got? Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is my room right here. This is me. Oh my. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, that's, <gasps> that's my bed. Oh, ah, no, ma'am. <laughs> Sharon is Karen. Sharon is Karen, that's yes. right, Dolly. <laughs> I think we should share. Oh, we're going to share. Are you supposed to be there tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm going to swim with you. Oh, Andrea. Yeah. Yes, Andrea, yes. But oh. do you want to get in the middle or do you want me to be in the middle? No, we can't forget about you. No, we can never forget about her. Come on, her. I think I'm a little already. Oh, already? I think she's my person. Oh, she already found a person already. But don't bring it. I didn't say nothing. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. My bags are already in here. Oh, <laughs> stop it. You love it. I love it. You just love it. You just love all the fun. Curvaceous. Oh, one cheek, one cheek. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> left cheek, right cheek, left cheek. Pop, pop. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. In my fucking room. I miss my room. Okay, what are y'all talking about? It's my room, sis. Are you getting ready to like pack? Me too, I'm gonna pack it with you. It's my room, sis. I ain't talking about that. Uh-uh. I'm thinking here. Okay. Shit, we're gonna be awesome together, then, but it's my room. I think it's a big enough bed. Come on, you guys. I, but I'm, no I'm in this room, too, though. Like, I'm, no fight. Like, you know, no fight. Right. You know, <laughs> it's all one love in here. All one love. Yeah, all it's, it's love. okay. But listen. I'm in here too. Okay. I'm here. I'm in here. Y'all cute. I love y'all. No, no, no. Right see, here, right? if you want to join us in the shower, you need to come. You need, you need to hurry up because there's gonna be some girls in there. So come on, join us. So y'all just gonna leave me out? Wait, no, wait, wait, no, no, no. Add me in. No, be bro. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be the only one up in this motherfucker. No, Yeah, man. Q is somebody I feel like I got a hush. Q is too loud. Q, you know, she just feels like she runs everything. Q just, my buddy just came in here, threw my suitcase out the room like she runs shit. Like, that's her room. Reality, you can keep it. I don't give a damn. I don't got to sleep in there with nobody, but you ain't finna throw my shit. And what you definitely not finna do is put your hands on me. So next time, watch what you're doing, buddy. Well, Janae's soft, pushover. So she tried to, you know, come in and think she's finna sleep in there with the ladies. 
that's a no-no. I'm not doing that. So I had to throw her shit out the fucking room because we're not doing that. If I say I'm sleeping here, I'm sleeping here. I mean what I say and I say what I mean, period. Before coming to now, I did a little research on Dre. She's probably the only person that I actually looked into um, since the contract signing. And um, I peeped her Instagram and I watched her and I, I listened to her talk. And um, she's definitely a creative. She has a brilliant mind, however, comma. There's some, it feel like she need validation. It feel like she needs someone to tell her you're doing it right or keep going this way. And that wall for me, I feel like I can see that I don't want to play that role for her. Um, she's doing a great job of bouncing around and not really sitting down too long with anybody. Um, so yeah, you can tell it's just, it's just not open there. Come on, baby. Two out of Come on, wait. First person to 10, come on. Look. It's, it's, it's moving. We got two and two right now. Come on. First person to 10. Three and two. Three and three. Four and three. Four and three. Five and three. Oh, no. It's five and four. It's five and four. It's in the middle. So y'all both distracted. No, what are we talking about? I'm short. Let me. It's five and four right now. So that means she needs to be there. Because I be fully clothed. Not fully clothed, but 
I got the bed and you asked me for it. Oh. <laughs> you only got it because you spit on me. Um, no, because I was up here before you were. Because <laughs> okay. you, you were sitting down there hustling and bustling. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Get, get with it in the twin size bed. Go ahead. No. Ooh, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Ooh, I did it. It's bigger. Come take it, bro. Let's have it together. It's, it's a full size. No. Oh, you see, ain't, ain't no talking. We can put these two together. Oh, yeah, put them together like slums would do. Put them together. Y'all cute, though, but not cute enough to have this bed. Is this Savion? No. <laughs> I wouldn't say not my type. It's just, like, the demeanor and the energy. And no. No. Okay, how do I feel about King? King is extra. It is what it is. I mean, she said some things that I probably won't rock with. It's not my cup of tea, but you know, that's her business. She look extra, but, it's, but she cool. Welcome, welcome. This is Sylvia the Big Show Green, and this is season one of My Person. 16 single queer women, studs and films, came here to find love. They will spend the next six weeks going through different challenges, scenarios to create romance, and get to know each other. In the end, they'll decide if they want to leave here with their person or walk away. But wait, there's more. They don't know our producers have a big secret that they're keeping from them. Let's see if they're ready. Let's bring them in. Welcome to my person. I'm your host, Big Show. Sky, Destiny, Marcia, Tiffany, Q, Mignon, Cookie, Drea, J Boo, Piggy, Sabian, Jada, Jonay, Michelle, Ravish, and Nay. You all have come here looking for the love of your life. For the next six weeks, you'll be put to the test. And hopefully, you'll be able to leave here and say, I finally found my person. Matter of fact, let me hear y'all say it right now. I know y'all can do better than that. I hey, man, that's what I'm talking about, all right? All right? So before we move any further, let us take a moment to give flowers to the person who made this all possible. Speaking of flowers, she loves red roses. She is the creator of Pandora's Box, the series. She is an author, artist, a filmmaker, and an all around good person. So if y'all didn't know by now, if you haven't guessed it already, I'm talking about the queen of red and black herself, Miss Pandora Monroe. All right, y'all, welcome to my person. Now, all of you have came here so y'all can search and find and run through all of these little challenges so that way y'all can find the love of your life, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. And I'm really hoping that you can find that person for you. I'm hoping that, you know, this can really bring about that type of experience. Y'all hoping that too, right? Yeah. So it's, just, it's just one little thing. Just, just one little teeny tiny thing that I might have forgot to add and what during that? this process. What is that, you ask? Yes. So, your person has already been found. Every last one of you guys have already been matched. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, all of you, 
went through a series of questionnaires, you went through some screenings and everything like that, and we put all of your tests through an algorithm, and your person has been chosen already. Now listen, so some of y'all might have been getting a little close, some of y'all might have been connecting with somebody in here already, some of y'all might even have your person figured out in your mind, right? And that could possibly not be your person. But this is what we're gonna do. Each week, you guys are gonna set up, y'all gonna go on these events, y'all gonna go through these challenges, and then at the match ceremonies, because that's what we're gonna call this, right. the match ceremonies, you're gonna choose who's your person. If you got them all right, all eight couples, I'll let you know, you got eight correct. All right. Now, all right. this is the thing. If you don't have them all correct, I'm gonna tell you how many you got correct, but I cannot tell you who's right and who's wrong. So, that doesn't really help you get any closer to figuring out who your match is. The only way you're gonna be able to figure it out is by using your heart, following your heart, not just your eyes, not just your other parts. Use your heart, okay? Y'all, look, y'all was matched for a reason. You have to figure that out as to why you guys were matched, okay? All right. Everybody good with that? Yeah. Y'all yeah. ready to find y'all person? Let's do it! Good luck. Are we done? I like Destiny swag. She laid back, cool, chill. I don't know if Destiny's interested in me as I am her. But if that if it's not, that's cool. You know, I'm not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. The person for me who has my top interest is Ravish. Absolute no would probably be Destiny only because of her age. Like Destiny cool, I can see her as my like my little sister. But I couldn't really see no romantic stuff. Well Mian, she's a baddie for sure. Uh, she's my type and that's why I gotta stay away from her because they toxic. Um, but I mean she bad. Uh, uh, Janae's cool, good personality, not really my type, but she's cool and uh, Drea. Drea is a good time. Not a long time, but she's a good time. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Let me fix my crown. They look as good as me, though. No name drops. J Boo. But we're not going to tell nobody. <laughs> you ain't matched me with Drea. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all got that? No? One more time. No. Let's get that microphone on you before you get to talk to It's on there. Oh, the microphone on you already? Yeah. You rolling? What you saying now? I ain't saying nothing. Yes, you did. That's her own. What we got? I choose Sky because um, she is very deep with it. You know, she's been hurt, and I can see it in her eyes, even though she doesn't want to express it. But I also know that she's not looking for the materialistic. You know, she wants the real deep love, you know, actual conversation. And she wants the same things I want, you know. And first off, my number one is Jone because um, I know she's a lover, but also a fighter. And I learned that she not only has three children, but she's also an entrepreneur, you know. She wants to pursue her country music career, which I totally support. Shoot, I'll be there front row with the freaking sign that says, I'm with her. My top person will be Piggy, that's her name, Piggy. She's classy. I like him classy. And then my other person will be me young. She's a little quiet. Everybody else is too rowdy for me. A definite no for me will be Janae. She's too loud, immature, braids kind of like Janae? with the long with the long nails. And it's just a no. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jada. Jada really fine as fuck. <laughs> like, she bright. Yeah. I love her. Piggy and um, Destiny. I don't know, because me, I look good too. Michelle look good too. Tiffany is, is the bottom for me. Mm -mm. Jada pretty much had a really good personality and I had a good conversation with her. And she brings. She has an understanding, I feel like. So I kind of, I'm feeling her. My potential person, I would say, my potential person would be Sky. 
She's really, really cool. She's a really good person to talk to. Um, we just vibe. She's really, really cool. Other than communication, she is, she's a cutie. She's just adorable. Just adorable to look at. If I could pick my top one and two in the house though, before I actually came to the house, it would have been dread. It would have been dread. Digitally, nice. Now that I'm here, it'll probably be like Jada. Jada will probably be number one. There is no number two. If I had to give a definite no to somebody, it'd probably be. It'd probably be the person I thought I was going to like. It'd probably be Drea now. <laughs> I feel like she got a hell of a wall up. She got a hell of a wall up. A hell of a wall up. And I'm not trying to break nobody's wall. It's Jada. Jada's the 20 out of the Oh, ooh, yeah. I can quit the show right now. Yeah. Take her home with me right now. Me and Jada had a vibe. But me and they had a vibe. Mm-mm. Mm. I mean, they're both beautiful women. See, I would, I would mess with Dre like on a one or two night stand, don't like a, like a sneaky link. But I don't think she's mommy material. And I hate to use the word ghetto, but she's, you know, a little bit more hype and. Eesh. Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. Okay. Um, she's just a little like, I feel like I'm on, like if, if we were to be like serious, she's gonna be like so much on edge. Like I feel like she's like, like almost about to like always trip over herself. She she's nice a person, yeah, and I'm not saying she's not. Yeah, I'm not saying she's ugly, but it's her vibe. It's not mm -mm, no. Like she's just like too much up here for me all the time, and like to be in a relationship and motherly, which is something I very much so think about, and family wise, you got to come down a few notches, and I just feel like she's too too much. I, I mean, personally, I couldn't handle it, but that's just me. In, in the kitchen, King and I, you know, we were sitting down, you know, eating rice, beans, chicken, the whole nine. And it turns out, you know, she likes to cook, but not fully cook. Like, she's still learning. And I was like, that's very interesting. And she loves to cook yams, brunch. And I was like, wow, like, this is something like, this is like very, very interesting. Like, she's very stimulating to me, not just in like a physical attribute, but She's really getting to me, so I'm gonna give King a shot. My biggest comp, no, honestly, would probably be uh, J Boo. She's very pretty, attractive, um, stud, cool, laid back. Um, so I think our energy, I think my energy's like probably more, but like, you know, she's attractive, she's cool. She seemed like, you know, like the girls are gravitating to us, so I gotta kinda like step in like that. We ain't going for that. So I think J Boo is my biggest competition right now. I mean, everybody's pretty cool for the most part. Um, J Book. <laughs> um, mm, kind of like her. <laughs> so, we'll see. It's the look. It's the look she gives. J Boo gives me this look that she may like. <laughs> Definitely J Boo because. Um, kind of has like a little aggressive side and I'm very submissive. <laughs> I absolutely do think she likes me. Um, I think that with, with her, it's like not just because we both fucking light skin. <laughs> I think it's because like we have an equal understanding. Like what's understood don't need to be explained. We're not thirsty. You know, some people can have energy drawn to them, people who get attention, but we both know how to handle it, you know? Person that I think is fine, everybody thinks fine, and I don't... Who's that? I hate y'all. <laughs> I think J-Boo's attractive, but I think everybody thinks she's attractive. J-Boo, and I, I'm not sure if she likes me in that way. And um, Sky with two eyes. I like her. 
just, I don't know, we walked outside, you know, arm in arm, like, I don't know, it's just something about Sky that I, I really like, like, I don't know what it is. Jay Boo, I feel like she hiding something. Like, either she still got a little boo back in Texas or something, or something. It's something, man, ain't, ain't, it ain't all hair. And I ain't, I ain't, it's the first night, so it ain't like she got to. But she definitely playing her cards right. She finna have all, I finna, I'm taking notes. Go J Boo, go. My money is on J Boo. <laughs> uh, J Boo is cool. I was confused at first, I wanted to say, because I thought J Boo was a film. But then she was like, nah, I like films. And I was like, okay, so you a STEM. I get you. Uh, she cool. She's quiet, though. She kind of like to herself. But, I mean, she a cool person. Why do you think she was a STEM? It's just kind of like her look. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she kind of gave off, like, the real soft, I'm kind of like, I be submissive to you type vibes. type. So, yeah, I don't know. She just gave me film vibes at first. But, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. If she like what a uh, film, she like a film, hey, I get it. <laughs> Do I have to answer this? Yeah. Ooh. What's the girl name, the tall girl that's been calling me her wife? What's her name? Yeah. Janae. Janae, yeah. She on there brown? Yeah. But but I don't know. I don't think she would be my okay, let me think. Damn. That was the first thing that came to your mind. You you think something? I mean, I did that because she been she all in my throat. <laughs> Who you got your eye on? Who you got your eye on though? I mean, I think old oh, girl's cute with the uh, green. What's her name? With the green. The green jacket. Mignon? Yeah, Mignon. Mignon. Yeah, she cute. But that's it. She might be bummy. I don't know. Put some taco meat on your chest. Jesus. Oh. Where's your black What the hell is that? God damn. Shit. God damn.
kind of here for J. Boo. <laughs> I came here because earlier I said that J. Boo, I felt like I, I was, I was unsure if she liked me, but it turns out it's a possibility that she does, and I'm excited about that, and hopefully we sleep in the same bed tonight. <laughs> Nobody in this bitch. Nobody wants to find their person. Somebody wants to find some ass. Some people wants to find a cuddle buddy, I guess. Or some attention, some affection, some validation. Yes, a person. Doubtful. Many bodies. Not a lot of people present here. So it's going to be interesting to see who actually uh, ends up with who and why. <laughs> Do I think I'm gonna find my person in here though? I say no. I, I would say no off top. A lot of people is just not here. They in their last relationship. They in their last trauma. They in their last jug. They not here. And uh, I'm here. Fortune in the fame, and I just want the fortune in your have your last name. So if loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right. If loving you was wrong, they can lock me up for life. I said if loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right.